Right now, there are more various heroes than ever before in the game, which also means there are more broken heroes with unfair and insane mechanics that give us some of the most overpowered heroes of all time. As the current meta has known some huge changes from the most forgotten heroes such as Cyclops and Smog, to the most famous ones like Mirage and Freddy. That's specifically why I'm bringing you this list, to rank all heroes in Bullet Echo from the easiest to the hardest. But before doing that, I must tell you about my strategy for ranking these characters. Heroes in Bullet Echo are two types. Heroes that require a lot of preparation, such as practice and high gear level, in addition to many weapon upgrades and these types of heroes mostly depend on their weapons and abilities together. While in the other side, the second type of hero depends more on the user and they don't have many conditions to make them unique, as they can become strong, even in the hands of new players only because of one thing, their abilities versatility, or their raw weapons power. The same as for the first easiest hero on our list, which is without any doubt Vi, she is the most broken hero in the game's history. I guess we all know why she is so strong. Vi's ability, Shadow Step, has made a superstar out of her. When she dashes, her movement speed increases and she can deal some damage to her enemies. While she becomes invulnerable to almost all types of damage. And that's, in my opinion, not even the craziest part. Her ability doesn't have a cooldown like the usual with the rest of the heroes. She is just dash and slash. And that's why she's not hard to use as her ability carries her very well. The next hero is not only the easiest hero, but she also possesses one of the easiest abilities to use in my opinion, and that would be Angel and her shield ability. She is so flexible to control, and has pretty decent stats like acceptable damage and good movement speed, which always keeps her one step ahead of her enemies. Her only disadvantage is that she is very fragile to the tiniest damage due to her low health. The next hero we have is what you can call Dragoon's Nemesis. That's right. Ramsey is in fact one of the hardest tanks to counter besides Leviathan. He won't wait for you to show yourself. Instead, he will find you wherever you are hiding and kick you out of the field. He is a skyscraper moving on two feet. But as I have mentioned before, he depends only on his ability most of the time, which won't take longer time for you to learn him. Once he uses his Rampage ability, Nothing is stopping him, there are a few encounters for sure, but they are not much big deal for him because of his high health stats. Moving next to our big guy Bastion, he has been and always will be one of the easiest heroes as he doesn't require much planning. But the main reason why I didn't rank him first is due to his lack of movement speed. And yes, there are other things to learn on Bastion like your shield timing, but it's overall just your game understanding. However, he is a great hero who can allow you to climb leagues faster in case you are a beginner. The next two heroes are going to be a bit controversial. First off, we have Stalker. Well, he is not the easiest as you need to be fully aware of your surroundings all the time to use him properly. And also learn how to use the map in your favor to manage your attacks and prioritize enemies based on their threats. But that's only if we are talking about the pro play. In the average play style of Stalker, it's pretty simple and doesn't take a lot to learn. He is generally so fun and he is ideal for any playstyle you prefer. He has an AK-47, which, by the way, is so powerful, you can attack from any distance you want. And in case you get into trouble, you can just spam his healing ability, which reduces a lot of incoming damage. Unlike his twin brother Ghost, he has low health stats exactly like Angel which makes his invisibility difficult sometimes to use. And he is always at risk, especially if the lobbies are full of tryhards and pro players. There is always some sort of danger floating around Ghost. But if you have a good reaction time, and you know how to move with him, you can easily finish a battle with crazy clutches. Ghost is simple. The majority of the time you are spending playing him, understanding when to attack, and a lot of movements of course. For better practice, you can play him solo when he is a king. The next hero I have for you is Dragoon. Dragoon was my first hero, and he is still my favorite. To be honest with you, I don't understand why he has been very much underrated recently. I mean, he does require a few setups, 
but a lot of these setups are similar to your overall game knowledge. The best part about him is that you can play Dragoon the way you want. Whether it is rushing or supporting your team, he will hold strong for any gunfight situation. Another thing that might make you admire Dragoon is that he is at the top of his class currently. Meaning that he is a tank hero, but he got pretty much the stats of all heroes in the game, making him perfect. Next is what you can say, the Queen of Speed. If you are into speed and quick decisions, then Alice is for you. Especially if you know a bit about how the game mechanics work and have a small idea about the common defensive strategies. Alice can help you break into any defensive lines of enemies easily because of her ability that increase her movement speed and allow her to be tricky. That's why Alice's playstyle is not hard as her ability will always give her another option to react differently or simply escape. The next hero is Freddy, who might be a bit hard at first to master, but a lot of stuff about him is just game sense oriented and not tied to him specifically. You can see that if you are an Alice player as both have similar playstyles and that will help you catch quickly on Freddy, but Alice is the improved version. Despite Freddy's been nerfed heavily, he is still considered a strong opponent and a good pick in almost every game mode. Now, while Freddy and Alice are more of hit and run kind of heroes, the next one on our list is more of stand still and shoot steady. You may have guessed him already, it's Firefly, one of the best sniper characters to master at low leagues and even in high leagues. He has his style to spread fear into the hearts of his enemies. But you may struggle with him a little bit in high leagues because of the new abilities. Well, as much as his sniper rifle seems strong and scary, Firefly lacks protection, which means if he doesn't have teammates to cover his back, then he is dead meat. Unless you are pro with grenades, you may have a chance to survive. The next hero is the one and the only shotgun queen, Sparkle. She's not hard, but her slow fire reload can make her hard to play for some players. Especially if you don't have her full personal set to help you get that additional one bullet. Despite that, she has great gunplay skills as she is capable of taking down big targets, which can be useful for those who are looking for a strong hero without high skills floor. And there is also her grenade ability, which you must learn how to serve in hot for your enemies. The next hero we have on our list is going mad, and that would be the Kraken Leviathan. Leviathan has been crazy broken recently, which has removed the skills aspect from him, especially after a shield has been added to his turrets. There are, of course, some lineups you need to learn at the beginning to use his main ability properly, but that's it. After that, you can go Rambo mode. His fire spread and aiming range are freaking terrifying as once you get hit by one of his flying bullets, you will be slowed down because of his other passives and you will get squished. Next is Hurricane who is maybe the most underappreciated hero of all ambushers. He is hard mechanically, no doubt about that, but this doesn't mean he can't shine like other heroes. There are a few moments based on matchmaking where he can become savage, tearing everyone apart due to his splash area weapon. But what you truly need to learn on Hurricane, which pro players don't want you to know, is the timing of how to take engagements and how to properly rush with your team without dying so you can provide them some value with your shield. The next hero is kind of like Firefly, it's Bertha. Bertha is not easy, as much as not very hard to use. She is in between. It's only about finding the best spots on the map and then spamming her main ability. Although her strength is undeniably good, you will need a team to protect you. Same as Firefly. Also, she is always in need of vision to use her ability. I mean, you can still locate enemies by their shooting sounds. But it would be more effective if you have a scanner on your team. Besides that, she excels the most in what is considered her natural environment. And that is squad versus squad mode. The next hero is our buddy Blot. You can't try Blot without falling immediately on his gameplay mechanics. He is not easy, but not hard either. It's a balance between your skills and a little bit of your general experience in the game. I believe that's all due to his decent reaction time. What I mean is that he gave you enough time to react back in case you missed a shot. Let's not forget also his force field ability, which is a good ability to play around with it and bait your enemies. And in some scenarios, he can one-tap other heroes. 
Next up is the newest hero in the arena, Blizzard. Well, she doesn't belong to the easiest heroes as her abilities and passives can be used in a lot of proactive ways and reactive ways. And you have her gunplay as well, which is a bit confusing sometimes, as it requires quite time to get used to it. And not to mention her freezing minds, which can be difficult to set up, perfectly optimal in a complex fight. However, she is not that hard either, because her ability comes pretty handful to save you in those tough moments. The next hero is Levi. She needs some good gear combinations in addition to all the stuff that you would need to do on Bertha. Like learning certain lineups so other heroes don't get you off guard. There is also an extra layer on Levi's playstyle which is her thermal ability you need to know where to position yourself. So you can use her ability more useful and when to use it exactly to find that momentum where you can just wipe full teams without much effort. It's not super difficult, but it does require a few things to be super useful. Her long aiming range is her strongest point though. So as I have said before, Levi is mostly about finding perfect spots to go crazy. Next up is the amazing Doc. And yes, I know he is underrated and everything, but when it comes to his gameplay mechanics, I must say he needs a lot. He needs to be able to time things right with his team, while prioritizing his two abilities, team healing, and missiles launcher. And most importantly, you have always to watch your teammates back, without losing your position inside the team. It really requires you to be on your toes all the time. But getting decent at Doc is not that hard. Especially if we keep in mind that he has a great weapon and a helpful combination of abilities. However, mastering Doc is a hard challenge. Moving next to the Beast Smog who is, by the way, difficult for a lot of the same reasons that Doc is. But mostly, it, it is about his slow movement speed and loud noises. There is also the instinctual factor which you have to learn to use his rockets much more effectively for some proper gameplay. Although his bad fire spread, he has a passive that increases his enemy's fire spread as well when he gets hits, so he's not that awful after all, but he struggles to fit perfectly in action. Next on our list is Tess. She will require from you several things. You will need to know her limits as far as her abilities, how they combo with your team, and even how they work against the enemy team. And you're gonna have to be constantly paying attention to what's going on over the battlefield, as you will need to know when and where to use her ball lightning to inactivate everyone's abilities around you without hurting your team. So she's definitely one of the hardest heroes. That requires a lot of thinking. Despite she's a bit hard to play, she's a very powerful hero. The next hero on our list is Cyclops. Cyclops is not hard, but he requires a lot of adaptation and understanding of his abilities mechanics, and the limits of his weapon in various gunfight situations and opponents. He is half skill game experience hero, which means he can have a ton of impact on the battle's overall outcome when fully mastered. Also, he is a great support hero as you can really manage to lead the way and your team into some insane pushes and even destroy the confidence of enemies in many methods. Moving next to the wrestler Arnie, I believe the reason why Arnie is harder to master, besides his bad fire rate, is the amount of decisions that you have to process during short periods. Are you going to rush, for example, or are you going to ambush every opponent? Most importantly, you have to keep going with the flow of the battle, otherwise someone will backstab you. You also need to read every sign, like watching the kill feed, and be careful with your movements. And the fact that everything we have mentioned previously is instinctual makes Arnie even harder to learn. Moving next to Shenji, one of the most hard heroes with a lot of external and internal conflicts. I mean everything about Shenji is friendly fire even to his self. He has bad fire spread, and you can never expect the direction he will shoot from as his shooting is so random. But he does a lot of heavy lifting when it comes to defending sites thanks to his broken ability, Fire Hunter, which not only deals a lot of damage and slows down enemies, but also covers a huge area letting enemies no escape. Up next, we have got the one-shot killer, Slayer. Despite his scary power, he is a very demanding sniper hero as you need to learn how to rotate without losing your aiming. Also, 
learning when a certain situation is happening so you can decide whether to camp or change position and which spot is perfect for using his thermal ability. I mean everything about Slayer is hard, even his movements as you have to walk in special ways to have that chance to no-scope your enemies. And he has a bad fire rate, so once you mess up one thing, that will mess up your whole battle, which might cause your team to lose as well. That's enough reasons to make him one of the hardest heroes to play, in my opinion. Next up, we got to talk about the beloved sniper of everyone, Mirage. She has many similarities to Arnie, even though she can't deal much damage like him. But she requires a lot of movements, knowing when and where to be and staying reactive to everything that the enemy team is doing. And you have to do it very quickly. Besides that, there are a lot of things to keep in mind like perfecting your moves and angles for your peaks, and respecting the distance between you and your enemies. Therefore, I would like to rank her as the hardest hero of all of them, but since she has pretty good mobility, she is fine. But that doesn't change the fact that Mirage is a skilled hero, because mastering her is like understanding the game. 70% or 80%? The next hero is one of the hardest heroes, but also the master of tactics, I'm talking about the youngster, Raven. Many players might see him as a medium hero, but for me, Raven is a skillful hero, as you have to be calm under pressure, and think creatively about how you are going to approach every single given situation, and make some quick decisions here and there, without mentioning supporting your team. So I think Raven is really hard to master, and if you did, that's understanding the whole game. Now, the next hero is who I assume is the top second hardest hero probably on our list, Lynx. She's a sniper hero, but she has nothing to do with the sniper class. She can switch between two firing modes which are close range and long range. She is also able to move quickly or slowly, without mentioning her fire spread and fire rate, which are unrelated to what we are used to on other sniper heroes. She's a hybrid of almost every hero in the game. There are no rules that may limit her potential or define her playstyle. And the main reason why I believe that Lynx is the top hardest hero is the fact that she requires high game sense, which is not something you can obtain easily. Finally, the boss level, Satoshi. He is the hardest hero in my personal opinion. Some of you think maybe he is broken, but he got the worst stats in the whole game. Such as low health, bad fire spread and fire range, and low vision. His weapon is indeed illegal, but you have to know when you can move, and when you just have to stand back and wait for enemies to enter his firing cone. There are also other things that you can't just learn with practice, but you only gain them over time, such as expecting enemies' movements and the skill to deploy the force field in specific situations. There's a lot of flexibility you should have in your playstyle and fake some of your moves to reach master level. 